Hey guys, Tony here with AwesomeKarateDrills.com. Congratulations on unlocking the accuracy level number one. And this is gonna be a really cool kicking drill that we do that's gonna incorporate three different level changes. So we're gonna have low, middle, and high. Now if you're holding uh, for your kids at home and you're using kicking paddles, which are a really great device to use because they make a lot of noise, kids love kicking them, but there's a very specific way to hold these in order to get success with them. Now a couple things I wanted to show you before we start. When you hold these, I like to have the color on the bottom. Technically, it's supposed to be at the top. You can really hold it either way. I've always liked it here. It just feels like it gets a better shot. So now, if I was facing Lexi here, I would want to point it right at her, a little bend in the elbow, and then I'm going to kick it down. So that would be if she was using her right leg. And then it would be here if she was using her left leg. Notice how I'm kind of choked up a little bit higher on the paddle rather than down here at the bottom, which makes it a little bit more flimsy, not as much control. So the higher up on it, the better. Okay, guys? So Lexi, face me. And you can always have your, your kids start off with a courtesy bow, uh, reinforcing that respect, bowing, step back and back in your guard stance. So this is gonna be level one. This is our low level. This is gonna be level number two, which would be belly or chest level. And then level number three, which is gonna be head level. So we're working on accuracy here. Great thing about paddles, they're small. So uh, they really have to have some great accuracy in order to hit these solid and, and not miss them, okay? So I'm gonna hold it out. If I go here, you go left, boom. I go here, you go right, okay? I go here, you go middle. Good, I go here, you go middle. I go here high, and then here high. Good, so now you don't know where I'm going or which hand I'm going with, you just have to be ready to react quickly and making sure that you're hitting the, the target with great accuracy. Back up just a half a step for me. All right, here we go, ready and middle. Good, ready, high. Nice, that was a little low on it. You'll notice that you won't hear that clap as much if they're hitting it a little further down on the paddle. So you know that they're getting really good accuracy if they're hitting it right here in the center and you get that really good pop, ready and middle. As you can hear the difference in that one, ready? High, nice, ready, low, very good, ready, low, very good. Now we're gonna speed it up just a little bit, ready, and low, middle, high, middle, high, low, middle, high, low, very good, low, middle, middle, high, excellent job. So as you can see, you can get some variety here and just change it up. And you can also change the kick. It doesn't have to be round kick. Uh, it can be side kicks, it can be hook kicks, it can be spin kicks, uh, depending on uh, the student's level. But since we're on uh, a level number one here, it's gonna be pretty much for basic students. So they all know front kicks, they all know roundhouse kicks. They may not be able to kick that high, but let's just set them up for success. So set them up at a level to where they can get to and they're not really, really trying to overexert themselves to get all the way up high to the head if they can't. Got to remember, they're probably just starting in the martial arts, so you want them to feel great about this drill, so make sure that you're doing it at their level to where they feel successful. And if you guys don't have paddles, make sure that you talk to your school instructor uh, or owner and, and see if you guys can buy some of these. Uh, they're a great device to have to practice at home, and if you guys are practicing at home, your skills are gonna be so much better. So I'm Tony with AwesomeCardioDrills.com. Congratulations, we'll see you in the unlocking of level number two.